they, they, shape, they shape them to the core. Uh, and again, it goes back to being made, first and foremost, goes being back made to the image of God. Every person has been made in the image of God. And so that fact alone, they have inherent dignity and respect. Every person does, no matter of race, color, creed, faith, um, even those who are of not of the Christian faith and a person who's not of the Christian faith, um, that we're to love everybody. You know, we truly are to love everybody and we're to love our en enemies. So when it comes to racial justice, um, you know, we've, as an organization, we've, we've tried to be out in the front on this issue. And for me, it's, that's meant listening and learning. Um, for me, that has meant trying to understand the plight of the black community that has been oppressed and hear their cries to come alongside and be a voice um, and to not be passive. And so what we're talking about here is expanding the kingdom of God and not being passive. And part of that as a coach, as a, as a Christian coach, you know, I have an opportunity to be a part of the answer and the solution of being part of an organization on how do we deal with social justice issues on our team. And as an opportunity as a Christian to bring a biblical worldview to the conversations that we have, which start with the image of God, which I had a press conference talked about. Um, you know, that everyone's made in the image of God. So those are very, and, and then those are very important discussions. They're hard discussions, but discussions that we need to have the courage to not be afraid to say what's wrong, to stand up for the oppressed. And in this case, it's the black community. In this case, it's police brutality against the black community and, and to be a voice and not be passive. 